I'm Carl Anthony, Managing Editor for AutoVision News, and this is AutoSense Insights. Speaking today with Greg McKee of LabSphere. He's the company's chief technologist and product marketing manager. He's a longtime member of the AutoSense family. And it's Greg, it's good to get caught up with you and it's good to see you again. Yes, good to see you as well. Greg, we enjoyed your presentation recently at AutoSense Online, and I'd like to revisit that. But first, tell us a little bit about LabSphere. Give us an overview of the company. Sure. LabSphere is located in uh, North Sutton, New Hampshire, about two hours north of Boston in the United States. Um, we have about 100 employees here at our headquarters, plus we have a small factory in China. We, ha um, we have three areas that we, that we call measure, create, and reflect. Um, and under that, we serve the industries of remote sensing, um, lighting, and light measurement, as well as image sensor and sensing test and which is the area that covers automotive for us. Now, Greg, I know that LabSphere is quite active specifically in LiDAR testing. So tell us a little bit about what you do to support LiDAR testing and tell us what that looks like. Well, many may know of us in the LiDAR industry for our targets. We have the large scale, grayscale targets used for range testing of targets. Um, but May, maybe not so much people know us for our contrast targets, which are also used, as well as uh, contrast targets and 3D targets. Plus we have uh, additional uh, products to support those targets and we're expanding into beyond targets for LiDAR testing. Sure. Now, Greg, how did you decide to expand those products? What prompted that decision to make that expansion? Well, first was the, um, the, our targets have been in the field or in parking lots and warehouses all around the world and in laboratories. And so the first step to expand in that was giving our customers the ability to check the performance of those targets, no matter where the target was. So we recently launched a, uh, a series of LiDAR reflectometers. And those are portable reflectometers that allow um, our customers to go and test those targets and validate the performance of those targets in the field. So it's a portable unit, um, as well as anything else that they want to test at that LiDAR wavelength. Right. I, I remember, Greg, when we were in uh, Brussels in September, you had the portable reflectometer kit. Uh, I thought that was a great product. Uh, and then you talked about it again for AutoSense Online. So if uh, for those viewers who may not have seen your demonstration at AutoSense Online, can you give us a, a recap of that demonstration and, and everything that you did in, in that presentation? Yeah, so in that present, well, I'd like to take a step back and thank everybody in the industry that worked with us on there. Um, maybe what you saw at Brussels was the original prototype and yeah. uh, we went through an iteration of getting feedback from the industry as we work forward to the finished products. I wanted to thank everybody for that, uh, which led to the products that we have today. Um, what I talked about in the, um, this, in the demo, the AutoSense demo, was um, what were some of the metrics used for testing um, LiDAR and specifically range testing and the importance of knowing what the reflectance is of the target. And so if the reflectance of the target is changing, it's gonna affect the uh, the range test results. And so the focus was on uh, helping our customers understand how they could test those targets so they can get a, a more accurate um, assessment of the range of the LiDAR. Right, so there's, there's two kind of important things that you had mentioned there, Greg, and we were talking about this off camera before we started the interview, so, so let's dive into that. The first one is this idea of benchmarking and the importance of benchmarking automotive LIDAR. Tell us a little bit about that and why that's important. Yeah, so we're also working with other industry leaders, including uh, Excite Technology and SPIE, who are putting together a uh, benchmarking exercise for a LIDAR benchmarking exercise. LabSare is engaged in that, not only to understand what's important to our customers, but we're also providing a series of uh, flat 10% targets um, that will be used for the, the benchmarking, as well as laser power measurement systems to um, measure the power at the target during the test. Um, and this is 
being put together as a, as a, um, as a large group, which includes uh, test equipment suppliers and LIDAR manufacturers. So, and then that kind of leads me to the second question, which is why is benchmarking important, Greg? I know that a lot of our engineers who are viewers are very passionate about that topic of benchmarking and continually improving a product or a design. So tell us in, in your view, why is benchmarking important? Yo, I've sat at some of the round tables at AutoSense and listened to the discussions between uh, different manufacturers and OEMs and tier ones, as well as talk to our customers directly. And there is no um, standardization right now for testing LiDAR. So it's a little bit of cowboy right now. Everybody's responding to what their customers are asking for them for specs on their LiDAR systems. Uh, eventually, this is going to this is going to reduce down to a set of standard practices for testing lidar. The benchmarking exercise is just one avenue of understanding how each lidar is working and and being able to compare them and uh, under the same test. Sure, and then you had mentioned working with with industry partners to uh, accomplish this. So, uh, again, Greg. Give us some idea. Why is working with industry partners so important for LabSphere right now? Well, it's understanding what uh, what what direction lidar is going in. You know, market projections show that you know we're just at the infancy of going beyond robo cars to commercial, and so we want to be there with our customers who've been um, that we've been serving and and hopefully uh, providing them what they need at this stage. But we want to continue working with them through the future. And uh, so we're expanding beyond just the targets. More recently, LabSphere has been providing um, test beds for testing uh, LiDAR systems, including um, um, enclosed systems with gonio mounts for testing uh, laser safety um, and laser power, and plus, plus uh, additional systems or components, cal uh, test jigs for testing the components in the uh, test beds for validating the performance of the test equipment itself. Right. You know, Greg, I, I have to give you a, a lot of credit and I always enjoy talking to you each time that uh, we get this opportunity, but it, it does seem like you really take a proactive approach with your customers. You, you, you listen to them, you develop innovations accordingly. In this case, you're, you're talking about benchmarking. So, you know, again, uh, you know, I, just a, a compliment to you at, at, at what a wonderful job you do compiling and disseminating all of that information. Great, thank you. So Greg, uh, I know we had kind of talked about it before. Uh, the LiDAR reflectometer kit, I, I wanna go back to, a, to that for just a second and explain that again to our AutoSense TV viewers. That is a, a portable unit that they can take with them in, in the field. Can you just tell us a little bit more about that so our viewers can have an understanding of what that product can do? Yeah, so um, what we do when we supply a target to our customers, we do a, um, a reflectance mapping on the target at the LiDAR wavelength so they get the actual reflectance at that wavelength, but also a uniformity mapping across the target. Now that target is used in the field Right, so it can be exposed to sun, rain, different uh, dust, and it's, it's an optical component, so it can get contaminated. And we provide cleaning instructions on keeping that reflectance as, um, as close to what it was when it left LabSphere. Um, because those systems are in the field, it's not easy to take uh, a spectroradiometer system or any measurement system and get a good reflectance measurement. So the reflectometer doesn't require um, it doesn't require AC power to go out and make the measurement. Uh, it reproduces the measurements that we do in our laboratory. So you get the eight degree hemispherical, allows the customers to calibrate the instrument before they use it. And then it allows them to do a mapping and it provides a three by three mapping or five by five mapping of the target. Does the statistical analysis you know, from the display, it's a touch display, but then they can download that data when they get back to their office and get and do a further analysis on it as well. Uh, it allows them to make uh, decisions on what to do um, if they find that the target reflectance has changed. It doesn't need cleaning, does it need to be recoded? Do they just apply the corrections that they just measured to their tests? And that, yeah, and so, and that product 
has developed and that product line has developed since we last saw it in Brussels in September. And I think you had said that, right? That this is now, that product line has evolved then. That's right. That product is now available and you know has launched and we actually have a backlog that we're trying to keep up with. Greg, it's always a pleasure to have the opportunity to get caught up with you here at, at AutoSense. Uh, I want to, before we close the interview, I think there was one last thing that you wanted to add about a new product or a new announcement uh, that, that's coming. So tell us a little bit about that before we wrap up. Yes, sure. We have two new products coming out um, this quarter. Uh, one is an extension of our Permaflect targets used for LiDAR. So we're coming out with um, rigid targets, LiDAR targets, and industrial targets. Now, these are all similar Permaflect targets, but with options for backing material, uh, for cost savings, um, and then we have uh, choices on mounting and, and choices on calibration with these different uh, series of targets. We also are introducing uh, our spectra black material, which is 1% reflectance for those tasks where you really wanna pick up something that's very dark, uh, that represents something that's very dark that you might see with a LiDAR unit. And so those targets will be available in half meter and one meter uh, sizes. You know, Greg, it's so exciting to catch up with you at AutoSense and then just see how LabSphere has grown, how your product line has, has evolved. I think when we first met, when I first met you at AutoSense, it was the LiDAR targets. Now it's been the LiDAR reflectometer kit. Now it's a whole new series of products. So congratulations to you, Greg. Thanks for your time today. And, and all of us here at AutoSense wish you good luck going forward. And, and I look forward to catching up with you again at, at a future event soon. Great. It's great talking to you. Talking today with Greg McKee from LabSphere. For more AutoSense, visit our hub and our YouTube channel by searching AutoSense.